This day also brought new developments in a story that we've been following for you since last week. A deadly confrontation between a Baytown police officer and a woman, Pamela Turner, who was shot and killed after she shot that officer with his own taser. An independent autopsy was just released, and Turner's family and attorneys say the results reinforce what they've been saying all along, that the officer's actions were not justified. Channel 2's Brandon Walker reporting on that story tonight, live outside the church where Turner's, Turner's funeral will be held tomorrow. Brandon? And Bill, no doubt a heavy day tomorrow here at Lily Grove Missionary Baptist Church. The Reverend Al Sharpton slated to deliver the eulogy. It was a heavy day today, too, for the family of Pamela Turner as they heard the results of that independent autopsy. She posed no threat to this man. They're angry, Pamela Turner's family. Angry over a shooting they say was unjustified. Angry over a police department they say didn't care about a woman with mental illness. A lot of people suffer with mental illness and they are treated differently. We are judged, harassed, hurt, and in my case, executed. Turner's sister, Antoinette Dorsey James, because reading a letter she wrote from Pamela's perspective. The woman shot to death last week by Baytown police officer Juan De La Cruz. Baytown police say Turner grabbed Officer De La Cruz's taser and tasered him. That's when they say he opened fire. According to the independent autopsy, De La Cruz shot Turner three times, once in the face, once in the chest, once in the abdomen. The latter two proved lethal. Also revealed two other injuries it's believed were from Officer De La Cruz's taser. He shot, he shot, he shot. He shot and he shot until she was dead. The independent autopsy concluded De La Cruz shot Turner from a distance due to a lack of gunpowder residue on her body. He's retreating. She's still on the ground. That's key, says Pamela Turner's family. Here's why they say so. The amount of distance between the two, there, there was no fear or danger or threat that my mom posed to this man. Nice. And he took her life. Baytown police stepping aside on this, the Texas Rangers leading this investigation. And because the investigation is open, we have yet to receive the autopsy report from the Harris County Medical Examiner. The Turn Turner's family has it either, we are told. Meantime, Officer Dilla Cruz remains on administrative leave pending the outcome of that investigation. We are live tonight on the South Side. I'm Brandon Walker, KPRC Channel 2 News.